Hello, welcome to your third C Sharp tutorial. This one will be about getting input, and it's going to be pretty short because there's not much to it, honestly. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to another type of variable that's called a string, and all a string is is it's a a string or a list or a conglomeration of letters. So a string could be something like "Hello World," like we had before, or it can be something like it can be pretty much anything that's just plain text. Oops. So we're just gonna declare ours as an empty string. An empty string simply means that it's blank. There's nothing in it, there's no spaces, there's no like new lines or anything, it's just nothing. So that's what x is right now. And we can do console write line x, and then we can say console dot write line um or whoops, read line and this way we won't automatically close and now you'll it doesn't write anything but if I were to put something into here like that it would just print that out we get FASDF extremely useful um, and yeah so now about the input because we need the strings for this um, declare an empty string. So all you need to get input is you need to declare a string variable, which simply means you need to write string name equals value, or string x equals two quotes for blank, and then you need to write your variable name, which is x in this case, equals console.readLine, like that. And you'll notice we, we, we did this last time, and that's because this way, when the pro when it runs the right line, is so it writes the line out, and then it reads a line in, which means it's waiting for you to press the enter key before it continues and ends the program. It also returns whatever you typed in on that line, but we didn't use the input for anything. So whenever you call some or whenever you write something like this, the the the, the term is call. But whenever you write something like this that has the two parentheses at the end, that means it's a function or a method, which you may have heard it in math before. And all that means is that it does re it returns, or it gives back, it gives you some sort of value of some type. Readline happens to give back a string, and if you mouse over readline, it notice it says string console dot readline. It says reads the next line of characters from standpoint to standard input stream. All that means is gets the text somebody just typed in. And string console dot readline means that it gives you a string of letters that they just typed in, which is useful sometimes when you when it's more complicated. Um, and yeah, so this program, all it's going to do is it's going to take in something that I type, like, hello world, uh, whatever, doesn't matter, I spelled it wrong, and then I'll just say it right back to me. It's not that useful, but if I go like, Bob, well, that's not even Bob at all. Anyway, if I just write Bob, it'll just say it back to me, and you'll, just, you'll see that it just gets it back. Another way to think of functions is that a function is a variable, and this will be important for later, is that a function is essentially a kind of variable. Because when you write this, it's it's not like x, it's not like you're writing out, you know, console dot, like you're writing out console dot read line like this, like you're not saying this is what it's equal to, it's equal to whatever they type in, which is a variable, and this function is like a variable. Like, for example, console dot read line, if I were to type in bob, console read line equals bob. That's, that's, that's a way to think about it. So, if you're confused about how it can equal a function, it doesn't equal the function, equals whatever the function will give back. So, if the function will give back Bob, essentially you're saying x equals Bob, not x equals console.readline. And something else fun we can do is we can write another string in here, or another thing of text, such as hello plus, and plus just means we're going to add these two strings together, or concatenate these two strings together. So it's hello colon space, or no, I'm not going to do colon, hello space plus x. So whatever they type in there, we'll just say hello and then add an exclamation point to the end. So this is like, so if I were to say read, hello read. It's pretty, pretty basic. Um, something else you can do is you can sort of, you can make them like a prompt, for example, you can write console.write line what is your name? And then here, it says, what is your name? They answer with, like, John. And then I'll say, hello, John. And 
it makes it seem like it's a much smarter program than it is. Because you could write whatever you want in there. You could just write like, ah, oh, I am I. And then it'll just be like, hello, blah, 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 I am I. Um, but it is, obviously, input's going to be very useful if you want to make any sort of program, honestly. That's not a complete, like, simulation. And most aren't. So if you want to be like, you like, enter two numbers. So, let's say, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's just do, like, well, let's just stick with the other example. What is your name? And we'll just leave it at that for now and come back to the two numbers thing later. Um, for right now... This is all I'm going to teach you, so thanks for watching, and goodbye. Sources in the description. We'll see you next time.